So welcome to my car walk around video. Um, this is my 1970 originally, 911T. I bought the car in 2012, just at the end of 2012, uh, from Munich in Germany, left-hand drive car. Uh, German market car, of course. Um, I was actually living in Poland at the time, so exported the car to Poland in 2000, end of 2000 or 2013. Um, relocated to Switzerland in 2014, so registered the car there. Um, now I am based in the UK, moved back to the UK in 2019, and the car has been registered here ever since. Um, so despite the badges, it is a 911T, or originally it was a 911T, not an S, as it says both here and on the dashboard. Um, so what is it then? Well, it's a hot rod. Um, it's not very standard. It has a 3.2 litre short stroke engine in it. Um, originally a 1979 SC, I'll come to that in a while. Um, it has wider it has wider wheel flares at the back, so these are original um, Porsche RS wheel flares. Um, they were actually TUV approved when it was done in Germany. So the paintwork, the original paintwork and the, the body modifications here were done before I, picked, I bought the car. Um, it was originally an RS clone. Um, front wheels are original 7R wheels from a 67, 68, 911R. Uh, 7R wheels, um, so they're 7 by 15 and the rears are 8 by 15. I had them restored by Art Wheels um, in Strasbourg in 2019, just before I moved back to the UK. Um, front bumper is from a 911S. When I bought the car, it did have the boxy RS style uh, front bumper, which I didn't like, so I changed it to the original steel bumper. Um, front wings are uh, fiberglass, bonnet is fiberglass, doors are fiberglass. Rear bonnet is aluminium and the bonnet surround is fiberglass as well. So it's a very light car um, and uh, obviously yeah, it, I've got a lot of the original parts um, but I've swapped it around as I've owned it over the last few years. Um, Coming onto the interior, this is a 38mm RS, original RS um, steering wheel with a reproduction hockey puck um, in it. Um, that's the horn, if you don't know what hockey puck is. Um, I had the five dials restored, um, I think it was last year over the winter. Um, so they're all working perfectly and looking very pretty indeed. Um, I have an original um, Bosch uh, Frankfurt uh, radio, um, so that does work. Um, I had that fixed because it wasn't working by Chrome London. Um, I put a new high-spec speaker under the dash um, and the, um, the stereo, or the radio rather, also has a Bluetooth connection. Um, yeah, the original ashtray which I repainted myself and uh, does have a cigarette lighter in here somewhere um, oh, there it is yeah, so that does actually work um, and the uh, glove box cover of course um, door cards are RS door cards with the leather pull strap uh, seats they are period seats. They are Shiel SR400 Rally seats. They are really comfortable. Um, obviously, they're not the original Porsche seats, um, which are not very comfortable. Um, yeah, at some point I have thought about replacing them, but actually they're really comfortable. They're really supportive, so I haven't bothered. Um, um, in the rear, Obviously, the standard rear seats, um, as much as such they are. Um, headliner is black headliner, um, and I replaced the um, seat belts um, because the original ones were a 
bit worn out, a bit concerned about those. Um, and RS style uh, carpets as well. Oh, and a fire extinguisher as well in there. Um, I don't think I can tell you much more about the interior. All right, so looking in the engine bay. I do have the original gas struts. Because it's a lightweight bonnet, um, the gas, gas struts are a little bit too strong, so um, I've taken them off, but they're in the parts box. Um, took out the rear the spare wheel, um, just to show you all the bodywork under here. Um, this was all replaced. Um, I think it was about 2019 that I had all this done. Um, there was a little rust hole um, somewhere down here. Anyway, I had the whole the front inner wings replaced. Um, a lot of the, the bodywork has been replaced, so all of these inner wings are all brand new. Um, the um, uh, mixture of Dansk and Porsche parts, um, uh, slam panel, all new, um, obviously repainted. Um, spare wheel over here is a six inch um uh heart shape as you can see the heart shape here um heart uh six by fifteen uh complete toolkit um jack and that's just the carpet which I just took out just to make things easier to see coming on to the business end so this is the engine now um this was originally built by um Bayonet in um, uh, near um, Nuremberg in Germany. Um, so Boxer Motoren is the company. Um, so Mr. Bernhardt built the motor. Um, he originally built it. It was a 79 SC engine, um, which I bought, um, and then I asked him to rebuild it. So he put 46 mil PMOs on it. Um, he put all the lightweight tinware on it. He refurbished everything, basically. Um, it has high compression, 10.5 to one um, compression, um, original Marla pistons. The original cylinders were bored out um, and then re And there's a company in the UK that did that. So actually from Germany, he sent them to the UK to have done. Um, it has a, a, an RS, um, uh, uh, um, fuel uh, oil pump in it. It has um, uh, lightweight cranks, uh, sorry, um, con rods. It has race um, springs and valves in it. Um, what he also did is he did the twin plugging machining, but he didn't actually twin plug it. So when I brought it back to the UK, I took it to um, Mike Neil Bainbridge, who then twin plugged it, so the machining was done, so he's done the, the bottom bank of cylinders. Um, he twin plugged it, he put the second um, ECU in there, and he moved the coils. Um, they are now mounted uh, somewhere, can't see them terribly easily, but they're mounted behind on the rear firewall. Um, this is a three litre RS air filter. Um, it's important to have that. Um, because it's actually slightly shallower than the standard ones. So it's actually plastic. Um, yeah, so very heavily tricked up engine. Um, it was dynoed at 260 brake horsepower before I put the exhaust on it. So um, I've had quotes of anywhere between 20 and 60 brake horsepower for the changed exhaust. So. I'm going to say conservatively it's 280 brake horsepower now, but um, I haven't measured it since. Oh, just the rear um, indicator lenses, of course. These are the original Bosch raised letter um, uh, indicator lenses as well, in case you're interested. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. All right, just going to start it now. Um, engine is warmish because I obviously drove it out of the garage to clean it. So um, normally um, I do turn it on for a while. Um, pump the accelerator a little bit to fill the carbs up with fuel. 
and then start it. Oh, it ticks over pretty well. Um, serviced and MOT'd about phew, less than two months ago by Jez at Carrera Performance in Horsham. Um, they actually did all the, the front end body work as well um, and they've done quite a bit of stuff to this car. Um, they put the fitted the uh, rear um, deck lid, um, yeah as I say restored all the front end as well. Um, yeah I think that's probably about it. Uh, the front I haven't replaced the um, torsion bars yet. Um, I did replace the ball joints um, last winter. Um, the poly bronze bushings and new suspension struts are sitting here waiting to go in. That'll be a winter project. So a few other things I think you probably know. Uh, first off, original matching numbers engine, uh, 2.270T engine. It's here in the garage, a stand. I'm slowly doing a cosmetic rebuild on that. Uh, all the tinware and stuff has been repainted, but um, haven't got very far other than just giving it a bit of a buff up myself. Uh, that's the RS ducktail that was on the car when I bought it, um, as was that little steering wheel. Um, and then uh, I've got about three boxes of, four boxes actually of parts and just loads of stuff one two three four five boxes plus a whole bunch of stuff in the cupboards in there in here as well so yeah it comes with a lot of stuff including these exhaust attenuators that i had made so these actually slide over the turbo thomas exhaust and reduce it down to a track day friendly volume level interestingly enough when i had the when I did a track day, the guy who measures the volume was on holiday, so I haven't actually used them. There you go. Our tyres are Avon CR6ZZ all round. Um, nice sticky rubber. Um, makes it fun. Um, same goes for the spare, which I don't even think has been... It's probably still got the sticker on it somewhere. No, it doesn't. Anyway, it's a brand new tyre. <laughs> 